Hello, everybody. Welcome. I can see everybody's filling in, filling up the Zoom room as you're coming in. Uh, my name is Matthew Mon. I'm an area manager for BYU Pathway Worldwide. Grateful to be here with you today. Um, this webinar or this information webinar is dedicated to those that are potential students, those who are curious about what BYU Pathway Worldwide is, how perhaps it can be the right resource for your educational pursuit and help you get where you want to go. And I'm excited to be here with Susie Bean, who is our subject matter expert on something new and exciting really in the United States, um, pretty groundbreaking, which is our three-year degree offer, which is what we'll be offering now through BYU Pathway Worldwide. So grateful to have her here to help answer some questions. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and go through just a, a presentation, kind of overview presentation, and then we'll turn the time over to Susie for some of those more specific questions about um, kind of the in-depth side of the degree in three. And I should also mention, sorry, as I'm going through here, um, if you have questions, please go ahead and put those down into the Q&A uh, at the bottom of the screen. As you'll see, two text bubbles, one on top of the other. Um, please put your, your questions in the Q&A, and that way the individuals who we have here, uh, other employees of BYU Pathway Worldwide, can answer those questions and respond to those instead of the chat. So we'll go ahead and begin. So BYU Pathway Worldwide, the question is, what is it? Is it its own entity? Um, does it give degrees? Really, it's, it, it's a partnership, right? So BYU Pathway Worldwide, in association with BYU-Idaho and Enzyme College, offers spiritually-based degrees that are completely online and at a significantly reduced cost. Now, what we mean by that, or the, the purpose of BYU Pathway Worldwide, is that it's been established to overcome the three major obstacles that individuals face when they're trying to apply for higher education, or if they're considering, do I go on to higher education or not? Uh, the first one is the fact that we're low cost. We've been designed to be low cost to provide access to higher education. Um, school is expensive, whether it's a public institution or a private institution. Um, it's very pricey depending on what you're pursuing and what you're after in the institution that you attend. And so many people are not able to attend just based on cost alone. And so whether that's uh, heavy student loans or uh, high tuition rates or cost of living or whatever it might be, we've been designed to relieve that pressure. The second obstacle is, is simply access. Um, you might not live in a place where you have access to education whether there's a campus close by or not, and then if you can afford it. And so the fact that we're online, we've been designed specifically to provide access to higher education. So regardless of where you live, you're able to get the same education as, as anybody anywhere else. And so um, courses, classes, instructors, interaction, all of it's done online. And then lastly, we've been designed to be a spiritual offering. Uh, one of the main obstacles that people have in going into higher education is fear. Can I do this? Uh, I don't have the academic confidence. Maybe high school was not a great experience for me or, or school, as my friend says, it's not my jam. Um, and, and there's a fear of, can I be successful? Can I actually do it? BYU Pathway Worldwide, because of its um, student-led learner model, allows individuals to work with other classmates and senior ser service missionaries to come together once a week, provide support to each other, and build that academic confidence, also within a spiritual environment, which happens during these weekly uh, meetings, which we refer to as gatherings, but then also through our partnership with seminaries and institutes, where students are able to take institute classes and deepen their faith in Jesus Christ. So between these temporal benefits of preparing for a better job and increasing our skill sets and getting higher education, we are also very focused on helping individuals deepen their faith in Jesus Christ. And we're able to do that through uh, our wonderful partnership with the Institute. Now, what's the entry point? It's, it's an offering that we call Pathway Connect. Pathway Connect, as you can see here, is reduced cost, and it begins with six foundational courses that all count to your degree. 
sometimes uh, there's a misunderstanding of, well, I don't really want to go through this beginning phase. I want to jump right into uh, certificates and degrees. And we'll talk about that in a minute. But there's a, an incorrect perception of I'm going to lose time if I go through Pathway Connect. But I want to let you know that these courses all count toward your degree and help build that foundation for the rest of your successful experience as you go through your education. As a part of Pathway Connect, you have a weekly gathering with your other students and then um, with senior service missionaries who are there to provide support and help for you during this three block term. Now, currently, uh, depends on where you live, some gatherings are in person where there's high concentration of students, but for everybody else, they're online offerings or online gatherings. And so once a week, you'll click into your Zoom room, you'll be with your students, uh, your fellow students, you'll be with your missionaries and be able to go over your coursework and, and do different things. Now, something that I, I love about Pathway Connect is it's, it's a wide open door. It's an open entry point. And so there's no secondary completion, secondary school completion required. Um, you don't have to have a diploma, don't have to have a GED. You do not have to take an ACT or an SAT score. This is a wide open door for anyone who wants to begin their education. Now, English is required, and so there is an a English assessment test that needs to be taken. And if that's successful, you're able to go in. And if your English skills are not yet ready to the point where you can be successful in college, then we would encourage you to check out English Connect, which is a, an, another offering taught on the warden stake level or on the ground level uh, for English Connect 1 and 2, and then English Connect 3 is an online offering that we oversee, which will help prepare you for Pathway Connect. So again, if, if you're concerned about, I didn't do well in school, or I'm concerned about, I don't have enough money, or I'm not sure if this is the right fit, I would encourage you to go to the website and check out what is Pathway Connect. Then after you complete Pathway Connect, you step into your first certificate. Now, this is one of the beautiful things about BYU Pathway Worldwide, and why we're different is because our approach and our structure is different than other higher education offerings. In a, a traditional higher education, you have your freshman and sophomore years that are very focused on general credits, electives, and kind of warm you into your more complex skills that are taught in your, your junior and senior year. The problem is sometimes along that path, life happens. You have a baby, you lose a job, you move, you know, it's things happen. And if you step away from that education without those higher levels where you really learn the skills, then sometimes you're left with a, a large amount of student debt and you don't have anything to put on your resume. So BYU Pathway Worldwide has been designed to bring those skill courses um, and vocational skills up to the forefront of your education so that you learn those as you are working toward your degree. So as you complete your first certificate and your second certificate with other general education classes, if you had to step away from your education for whatever reason, not only do you have your associate's degree, but you have two job ready certificates that would allow you to improve your resume and improve your vocational options to get a better job. And as you can see, these are stackable and they build into your bachelor's degree. So these are not in addition to the work you're already doing. These certificates are the work that you're doing to accomplish your, your bachelor's degree. Now, these are the offerings um, that we provide, again, in association with BYU-Idaho and Inland College. And so we have business, software development, information technology, health, communication, family studies, which is a blend of family services and family history research. And you're able to kind of um, drill down into both of those, and then also professional studies. And professional studies provides the flexibility that if you already had a job and you were looking to retool your skill set, that you'd be able to go through and get one of these certificates or two or three and be able to improve your skill set to prepare you or to customize your education to what you're already doing to help you get that next promotion or next position or whatever it might be. So these are the offerings and you see the QR code, you're able to scan that. Or if you'd like, you're able to go to our website at byupathway.edu and be able to click on certificates and degrees and it'll pull up this list for you. 
Now, um, I talked a little bit about this earlier. So we are a very low cost, high quality option. And we've been designed to be that way um, in order to, to expand our access to help people all over the world. In addition to being low cost, we also have a guaranteed scholarship referred to as the Heber J. Grant Scholarship, which is a guaranteed scholarship of at least 10%. And then depending on once you register and fill out the information in the module associated with it, you could also earn a 25 or a 50% uh, reduction off of your tuition. And you're able to carry that all the way through your bachelor's. You just have to retake that assessment every two years. So these are wonderful options. In addition, we have a return missionary scholarship that if you have completed missionary service within the last five years, you're eligible for another 25% off of your tuition. So some really great options, uh, again, to help make this as affordable as possible to help you at whatever point you are on the journey. So now at this point, what I'd like to do is turn it over to Susie Bean, again, to help us better understand what is the three-year degree what options it provides and why it might be the right fit. Thank you, Matt. All right, to give you a little background about the three-year degree, what it is, um, it's a degree that has been streamlined as a bachelor's degree, an accelerated bachelor's degree that will only require you to complete around 90 to 104 credits instead of the traditional 120 credits of a bachelor degree. Because of this, the 27 to 30 elective credits that you usually take at the end of a bachelor degree, you will no longer have to take that. This will allow you to not only save a lot of extra money and not paying for those credits, but you'll be able to finish faster. Typically that's about one year from the four year bachelor degree that, that is traditional. Um, and that's why we're calling it the three-year degree. So this will begin April 2024. BYU Idaho and Ensign College, in partnership with BYU Pathway Worldwide, will be offering offering this accelerated bachelor's degree. It's completely online, um, not on campus. Uh, could you go to the next slide for me, please, mm -hmm. Matt? Thank you. So a little of the structure of the degree. Um, the when you begin the degree, we have what we call our preferred path, and that is to start with the Pathway Connect program. So the Pathway Connect program, you can complete it in about six months. What it's going to do is it's going to help prepare you for the college courses that you're going to need to take. So if it's been a long time since you've taken college or you um, have never had any college experience at all, um, you can go through the Pathway Connect program and that is going to help you to be able to meet the prerequisites that you will need for your college degree and just be in general ready for the stresses of, of being in college. Um, Pathway Connect will also allow you to get a further discount on your tuition than just starting right on your degree would. So after you've finished Pathway Connect and you've moved to your degree with either BYU Idaho or Ensign College um, serviced through Pathway, you're going to do your first certificate first. So the reason that it is done this way, as Matt has mentioned before, is that traditional degrees, they have, um, the generals are typically taken first, and then your specific requirements, the specialized things for the degree you've chosen or the major you've chosen are at the end. And so really you're not marketable in that area until you complete your degree, but, with the three certificates and the certificates first uh, model that we've set up, you're gonna complete your first certificate before anything else, which means in six months, you're gonna have this certificate. You're gonna have something that you can show for yourself and show an employer. And then you're going to move on to your second certificate in general education. And then um, your third certificate in general education with getting your associate degree and your bachelor degree. Once you've done that, you're done. You don't have all of those electives that you normally would have to take with the four-year typical bachelor degree, where you're just trying to get to a certain number of credits and they don't really have anything to do with your degree. Next slide, please. So we've gone over some of this already, but just a general recap. Um, earning the degree in three means that you're going to be able to complete 90 to 104 credits 
And it's an approximation and it will depend on the degree you actually take. Um, and if you have transfer credits coming in, you might get higher than that. Um, but typically you'll still be lower than 120 degrees. It will depend on what exactly you bring with you and how that's evaluated. And the evaluation process of your transcripts, that's not something that, that I can really give you um, complete details on, but when you apply um, and you send your transcripts, they'll be evaluated and whatever courses can fill in um, for some of these requirements will. So you will still complete the same number of general education and religion credits that you, the BYU, um, Idaho and the church education system usually requires on the 120 bachelor degree. That will not be changed at all. What is different is again, that electives at the end won't be there. Let's see, so this slide, we actually don't need Matt. That was for current okay. students. No but worries. Okay, so the application, you can apply now to start in spring. The deadline for, um, for the spring 2024 semester, if you want to um, start then, is April 2nd. And the first day of classes would be April 22nd. So it's coming up, right? Yes, it's right around the corner. We, we have the link that we can share for our admissions page. Mm -hmm. So that you can fill out the application and apply. Awesome. Thanks, Susie. So again, you can scan this QR code. That'll take you to the website. Or as you see, byupathway.edu down here is our website address. And, and you're able to do that and go check it out. Now, in addition to just that, that basic overview, we've got um, some questions that, of course, are being asked. Um, and so we're responding to those, but there are other additional questions as you registered for this webinar. Um, some common questions that we'd like to walk through and have Susie answer. We're grateful that she's here and can do this. So question number one, Susie, can you apply for a scholarship for this program? And maybe speak about that a little bit. Yes. So you can apply for scholarships. We have the Heber J Grant Scholarship that is available to all students. And that's a guaranteed scholarship that you can have. Um, for returned missionaries, we also have a scholarship for returned missionaries that you can apply for as well. Great. And question number two is, how do I register? How do I register, uh, say for Pathway Connect or just to begin the whole process? So to register, you would go to our webpage, to the admissions page, and um, just from the homepage, there's actually, there should be a tab that says to, to register. And from there, you can choose if you're going to go through Pathway Connector directly into, into the program at BYU-Idaho or, or in Zion College. And the application is open right now. So if you want to register, go and do it now so they can get you set up be able to do that. And as you'll see, there are links in there that I'm posting links to the scholarships. Um, great question by Mackenzie. How does one apply for scholarships? So once you're, you're uh, enrolled, so you'll, you'll register as a Pathway Connect student, and then within your student portal, you will be able to then go in and click on Heber J Grant, and then fill out the application for that. Okay, so Susie, what is different? Why is the degree only in three years and what was removed? So what was removed was the elective credits at the end. The rest of it's the same. So what this does is it helps you to focus just on the requirements you actually need for the bachelor degree and be able to complete it sooner. So the difference really is that number of credits, the 90 to 104 versus 120, where you're not completing those um, those elective credits that really don't have anything to do with, with the degree itself. As, um, as far as validity goes, it's still a bachelor's degree. It's still going to show as a bachelor's degree. Um, it's not going to be anything less than that. So it was still 
count the exact same as the traditional bachelor degree would. Great question. Um, which degrees are there for uh, individuals who who are not members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints, or meaning, are there is there anything that is not available to someone who is not a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints versus someone who is? No, there. So it's the same degrees that are offered. Um, it is the same program, so you will still go through religion courses as part of the program. Um, but other than that, the tuition, I think might be slightly different. You'll have the, that is posted on the website. You can see all of the tuition rates and prices there. Um, the degrees that we have, there's the applied business management, applied health, communication, family and human services, information technology, professional studies, and software development. There's also a family history research degree that that is not a bachelor degree. That's associate only. Um, but you can do that and still continue on to complete a bachelor degree with um, professional studies as well, if you choose. Great. Um, another question, when do classes start? So classes start for the spring 2024 semester, at least they start April 22nd, but there are three semesters per year um, as part of this program. We have our winter semester, which runs January to April, spring semester runs April to July, and the fall semester that runs September to December. We do not have a summer semester. And something that's easy, if I'm just pulling up the website here, this is byupathway.edu. If you go over here to these quick links, you can click on that and you see academic calendar right there. And you're able to, to click on this and see, okay, here are our registration dates be able to see when those priority deadlines are um, as far as when classes start. Also, a question that I've seen asked is, how do I apply? Come to the website and right here, apply for free. You can click this nice big gold button and that will also help begin your application process and then you can dive in. Thank you. Okay, ne next question. Is it possible to earn two degrees or to do a double major? No, that is something that we do not offer. Um, we do not offer the ability to declare more than one degree at a time, and we do not offer double majors. Okay. Uh, what is one qualified to do after receiving this degree? So specific qualifications really are based on which degree you choose. Uh, but if you go to the webpage where we list the degrees and we have this this link that we can share with you so that you don't have to hunt it through there. Um, each degree does have a list of outcomes that you can expect and qualifications that you will be able to earn by doing that degree. Excellent. Um, some have asked, say, I already have an associate's degree or maybe somebody even has a bachelor's degree, but if they already have prior education, whether it's an associate's or just general credit um, instead, there's a question of, could if I have an associate's, can I just begin working on my bachelor's degree or how does that work? So how this works, and I can't give you the exact details because this is not my area, so I wouldn't be able to tell you exactly how how your credits or your degree was going to apply, but some of it will apply. They're not gonna make you start from scratch. So how it works is when you apply for the program, um, there'll be a question, you'll be able to send your transcripts and they will evaluate your transcripts and plug in any of the requirements um, that are gonna carry over. Typically, a lot of the generals um, are filled because you've already taken those. It's not an exact thing that I can tell you, though. Um, it's part of the application process that you'll have to go through to see exactly where those apply. And that way, yeah, you can see how many you still need in that process. Exactly. Um, let's see. Okay. As an international student, will my country recognize this degree? This is a really good question. So these degrees are accredited through the Northwest Commission of Colleges and Universities in the United States. 
So while these degrees are accredited in the United States and not in every country, um, these are still very marketable skills that you, you will learn, um, such as language and employable applications applicable skills that employers are really going to value and look for. And it's still going to make you very marketable um, to an employer wherever you're at. Right. So how does this affect students on catalog years other than 2024? And maybe we can also kind of clarify what, what does that word catalog mean? Yes, that's a, that's a good question. So a catalog year that refers to the year that you applied and were accepted to the program. So every year the college puts out what is called a catalog um, for that year. And those are the degrees and the courses that were approved for that, that specific year. It changes, it tends to change a little bit each year and that's in order to keep the degrees as up to date and relevant to the different fields as possible. Um, so say you had applied and you were accepted and you started in 2021, um, like in the spring of 2021, that would mean you were on the 2021 catalog year. So each catalog year is um, valid for a period of seven years. If you didn't finish within seven years, um, you would just be moved forward to the next one and, and need to complete whatever requirements were left there. Um, so that's how it, it carries in there, the three-year degrees are going to be on the 2024 catalog year because they're just being introduced this spring with, with that introduction. Anyone who may have been on a previous catalog year will have the opportunity to um, see how their current coursework would apply and fit into the three-year degree and be able to move to it if they chose. Great. Thank you. So what is the cost of tuition? And, you know, say I'm international, say I'm domestic, say I'm whatever. Help me understand the, the cost options. Of course. So the cost really depends on where you live. In order to create a degree and offer a degree that was a lot lower cost tuition, it has been adjusted Um based on country and the cost of living in each country. Um, there is a link that we can share to our webpage that will show the different tuition costs and tuition rates depending on where you're at. So I would encourage you um, to go to that link and look up where you are to see exactly how much per credit you would be paying. And there's a little drop down, right? You click, select your country, select your location, and then you'll see the cost rate change based on your area. Um, do you offer a master's degree? Is one of our questions. No, we do not offer a master's degree at this time. How many classes will I need to take at a time? So the classes you take at a time, that is somewhat up to you. Um, the minimum amount of credits you can take per semester is one. The maximum amount is 21 credits per semester. We would ask you to keep in mind when you're choosing your workload and just how many credits you're going to take per semester that typically for one credit, um, you will want to reserve three to four hours per week for homework. So that being said, for example, if you registered for nine credit hours, you would need to allow 27 to 36 hours per week for your homework. So keep that in mind when you're deciding that and really choose something that you feel like you can handle and that's not going to overwhelm you. Great. Uh, will there be weekly online meetings like in Pathway Connect? So maybe I, I like the graphic where it showed the first six months is Pathway Connect. After that, we step into our certificate process. Um, will there be weekly online meetings or what does that look like? There will not be me weekly online meetings after you move from Pathway Connect to um, either BYU, Idaho or Enzyme College. Um, what you will have instead is you will have a mentor that's been assigned to you. This mentor will be your main point of contact. They'll reach out to you. They'll be there to assist you and help you in 
in your journey and they'll be able to answer main questions that you have, just general questions and be able to um, refer you to the different departments or academic advisors as needed for more specialized information and questions that you might have. And I think this is a question that comes up quite a bit. If I have additional questions, need advising help, um, either to know, uh, example, here's what I currently have. Here's what I'd like to do. I'm having struggles. I've completed the endorsement. I've not been able to move forward or all these different things. What's, what's the avenue that we begin getting our questions answered? So the best way to go is if you are not currently a student, you can go to the BYU Pathway website and there is a contact us link that you can click and that will open you into our live chat. From there, it will ask you just a series of questions trying to get an idea of, of what you actually need help with and that will get you in touch with the right department that, that you need. Great. Uh, let's see. I completed the pathway program. What advising help can I receive to reach my goal of a bachelor's degree? So if you've completed the pathway program, you are probably already matriculating over to BYU Idaho or or Enzyme College. By that I mean you're you're moving forward to the bachelor part of your degree and in, into one of these institutions. So if that's the case, um, you will have had a mentor assigned to you. The best thing to do is to reach out to the mentor. And if you don't have a mentor, you can go in the chat and request an appointment um, with an advisor. So reaching out to a mentor or going through the chat to get that appointment with the advisor is going to be the best thing to do. They can really kind of walk you through helping you understand the degrees and that will help you decide what the best option might be for you. Keep in mind, advisors cannot evaluate or process your transcripts, but they can help you to understand the degree options that you have and pick a good path. Excellent. Um, two, for those that are either potential students or those that are current students, maybe have some questions too related around mentors. If, if you're trying to connect with that mentor and for whatever reason haven't been able to, Within your student portal, there's a, a tab that says resources on it. When you click on that, you'll see a box that says mentor concern form. And you're able to fill that out to say, I need to connect with my mentor or I need to set an appointment with an academic advisor to be able to go through my transcript and understand um, what it is that I need to do. So if you're if you're having problem making that connection, please use the peer mentor or the mentor concern form, which will help. Um, be a catalyst to make that connection happen. Okay. Well, it looks like we're we're at the end of our time. We've got just about two minutes going through the question, see if there's anything else here. I think we addressed how long it would take, masters, current students. Uh, maybe let's ask this. For new students, do they have the ability to use financial federal financial aid. So moving forward um, with the three-year degrees and um, starting spring 2024 semester, BYU Pathway Worldwide will not be eligible for federal financial aid in the United States. Um, most of the students we, we service are not students in the United States. And in order to um, really streamline the degree and be able to uh, offer higher discounts and more scholarships, that decision was made. And so for those who might have a question then to say, well, I don't know that I'll be able to continue on. Remember, we do have the Heber J. Grant Scholarship. We do have uh, the Return Missionary Scholarship. We do have a Mentor Bridge Scholarship once you're in. So there are other um, financial resource, financial aid resources available that BYU Pathway Worldwide does offer. So, well, we're at the end of our time. Um, again, I believe I said this at the first, but just in case I didn't, if you registered for this um, meeting today through Zoom, 
we have your contact. You'll receive a link to this recording through your email. Uh, if there's anyone on Facebook that that has seen this and um, did not register, this will also be put on the BYU Pathway Worldwide Facebook page, and you'll be able to come back and review it and see if uh, there are any questions that you may have missed and got answered. But thank you for being with us today. We hope you have a great weekend and take care. Thanks, Susie. Thank you.